Hello, and welcome to Raw Group. Today's orientation will cover Raw Group company history, our health and safety policies, company rules, site emergency response procedures, your rights and responsibilities as a Raw Group employee, conducting hazard assessments on site, behavioral based observations, personal protective equipment requirements, WMIS and training, and incident protocols. This orientation is designed to cover off the basics. If you have additional questions about RAW Group, your job, PPE requirements, or anything else, please direct your questions to your supervisor or RAW Group Health and Safety Manager for more information. RAW Group is here to help enhance infrastructure development while respecting the land, cultural traditions, and values of First Nations. RAW Group provides expertise in general contracting, electrical, concrete, design builds, and construction management. At RAW Group, we believe that all of our employees are entitled to work in a safe and healthy construction environment. Therefore, every reasonable precaution will be taken to provide one. We achieve this by ensuring all workers are trained for the work they are tasked with completing, communicating all health and safety matters and hazards, having leadership facilitate and take part in health and safety meetings, ensure all personnel understand the responsibilities and are held accountable to them, and have senior leadership push for health and safety excellence. Every worker must protect his or her own health and safety by working compliance with all government legislation and safe work practices and procedures established by our company health and safety management plan. Should any subcontractor not have a health and safety program, they must follow the RAW Group Health and Safety Management Plan. To achieve our commitment to safe work environment at all of our operations, RAW Group has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to the use of drugs or alcohol while on duty. We expect our employees to arrive for work fit for duty, conduct themselves in a safe and lawful manner while on duty or on company premises, and cooperate in the assessments of substance use problems, including taking an alcohol or drug test if required by one of our clients. Fit for duty comes down to more than just drug and alcohol use. Workers must be in a sound mental and physical state in order to perform their duties safely and keep themselves and those around them free from harm as well. Workers have a responsibility to advise your supervisor if your performance will be affected by your mental or physical condition, your health, or any other reason or circumstance. Workers must advise their supervisor if they are taking prescription drugs or other over-the-counter medication as it may affect their ability to perform their duties safely. Raw Group is committed to maintaining a workplace that provides every employee freedom from harassment and violence during the course of the employment. Behavior by any employee that harasses, demeans, or threatens will not be tolerated. Any violence or harassment incidents will be investigated by senior management, and perpetuating these types of incidents will be grounds for immediate dismissal. At Raw Group, we celebrate our diversity and see it as a point of strength in our organization. We expect everyone to be respectful and caring towards others, whether it be a Raw Group employee, subcontractor, office personnel, clients, other contractors on sites, or delivery person. Everyone brings a unique skill set and has the right to be here to earn a living for themselves and their families free from harassment. In keeping with our belief that safety is a shared value, we have implemented a progressive disciplinary policy and procedure in order to maintain regulatory requirements, industry standards, and company rules. First offense is a verbal warning. Second offense, written warning. Third offense, suspension from site without pay. Fourth offense, termination. Raw Group has established cardinal rules that are applicable to management, employees, subcontractors, visitors, and suppliers engaged in any of Raw Group's projects or activities. A zero tolerance policy will be enforced for the breach of the cardinal rule. This means 
the offending person shall be removed from the site and is subject to discipline pending the outcome of the incident investigation. Discipline may result in the dismissal of the employee from their current and any future employment with Raw Group. The cardinal rules include breaches to fall protection procedures as per Section 26 of the Ontario Occupational Health and Safety Regulations Green Book for construction, insubordination, fighting, violence or harassment, being under the influence of drugs and alcohol, theft, purposely destroying any company property. As stated earlier, Raw Group believes that all of our employees are entitled to work in a safe and healthy construction environment. Therefore, every reasonable precaution will be taken to provide one. Our company rules are the basis for this. Following these rules will help maintain a safe and healthy construction environment for all Raw Group employees. The following are zero tolerance policies. Drugs and alcohol, the consumption, possession, or sale. All incidents and near misses must be reported to your supervisor immediately. Theft, vandalism, abuse, or willful damage of company, client, or co-worker's property is grounds for immediate dismissal. Harassment and violence will not be tolerated. Fighting and horseplay are causes for disciplinary action. Possession or using firearms, ammunition, or explosives is absolutely prohibited. Smoking is to take place in designated areas only. Seatbelts must be worn at all times when operating vehicles or equipment. Personal protective equipment and clothing suitable to the working environment is mandatory. The use of unsafe tools and equipment is strictly prohibited. All employees are expected to assist in housekeeping. By doing so, you are keeping the work area free of garbage, debris, or any slip or trip hazards. Raw Group, as an employer, is responsible for ensuring the health, safety, and welfare of its workers, ensuring workers are aware of their rights and duties, providing competent supervision, training for workers, and preventing violence and harassment, and working with health and safety representatives and joint health and safety committees to ensure the safety of the team. Supervisors must be competent. Protect workers from known hazards, as well as advise workers of all known hazards. Report incidents to senior management and clientele. And prevent all workers from working unsafely or going against the Occupational Health and Safety Act. Workers must cooperate with their employees and supervisors. Use all devices and wear all PPE properly. Report any unhealthy conditions or hazards. Refrain from any acts of violence or harassment. Contractors, ensure all employees do not endanger the health and safety of others while working on site. Workers have three basic rights when at work. Everyone has the right to know and be informed about actual or potential dangers in the workplace. Everyone has the right to participate in health and safety committee meetings or as a health and safety representative, and everyone has the right to refuse unsafe or dangerous work. All workers should be familiar with these through Ontario's Workers' Health and Safety Awareness in Four Steps training. It is mandatory to complete this training or show proof that you have completed this training prior to beginning work at Raw Group. Training and competence. All workers must submit their certifications and be cleared by Raw Group Health and Safety Department prior to beginning work. If it is determined that you are missing training, that training must be completed prior to starting the project. Raw Group Health and Safety Department will maintain an employee profile with your certifications and emergency contact information. You will require, at the minimum, the following certifications to work on site. Health and Safety Awareness in Four Steps. WIMIS updated yearly, working at heights, raw group orientation, site specific orientation, mobile equipment training if applicable to the project, and additional training 
may be required depending on which site or task you are assigned to. These may include fall protection, confined spaces, lockout tagout, personal protective equipment use. New or young workers? Did you know that young workers or workers that are new to the industry are 60% more likely to be involved in a workplace injury? Let your supervisor know if you are new to the industry or if you are under 25 years of age and you will be sent for additional training to help you recognize the hazards and ultimately be a safer worker. Supervisors need to recognize a worker's lack of experience, unfamiliarity with the site and its practices, procedures, and protocols, as well as acknowledge the worker may need additional training or be assigned a mentor to help. Experienced workers have a role to play in the safety of new or young workers as well. Qualified and experienced workers need to introduce themselves and offer advice or assistance, review site health and safety programs and answer any questions the new worker might have, and demonstrate safe work practices. Daily JHAs or Job Hazard Assessments and or FLHAs, Field Level Hazard Assessments, will be completed on-site daily. Reporting incidences and near misses may prevent you or a colleague from experiencing a serious or fatal injury at work. We encourage you to act with courage and speak up. It could save your life. Driving company vehicles. All persons driving raw group vehicles must provide the office with a valid driver's license. This will be kept on file and added to our driver's list for insurance purposes. Drivers are expected to follow the Highway and Traffic Act set out by the Ministry of Transportation while operating raw group vehicles. Raw Group requires immediate notification of any lost or suspended licenses. A company vehicle is considered an enclosed workspace as per the Smoke-Free Ontario Act. Any employee, supervisor, or manager caught not following the rules and regulations as set out by the Smoke-Free Ontario Act is taking full responsibility for their actions and will acknowledge that they are aware of the Smoke-Free Ontario Act and that they have been made aware of the Smoke-Free Ontario Act by their employer. They will be responsible for any fines associated with not complying with the Smoke-Free Ontario Act. All Royal Group vehicles have GPS monitoring systems that alert management to incidents of speeding, excessive idling, and impacts. These events will be monitored and persistent infractions may result in the loss of use of Royal Group vehicles. The do's and don'ts do perform a record, pre-operations inspection, report deficiencies to the office for repair operate at or below posted speed limits, and at a speed which is appropriate for the road conditions. Walk around the vehicle prior to reversing. Ensure vehicle is kept clean. Treat the public in a courteous manner at all times. Always wear your seatbelts when the unit is in motion. Do not. Use company vehicles for personal business at any time. Operate a defective vehicle. Offer rides to anyone other than raw group employees. Allow passengers to ride in the back of the pickup or any unit that is not equipped with approved seats and restraining devices, i.e. seat belts. Leave the vehicle running and unattended. At Raw Group, we believe a tidy site is a safe site. We use the Raw 20-20-20 rule to maintain housekeeping throughout the day. Every 20 minutes, Take 20 seconds and clean up the area 20 feet around you. SWPs, or Safe Work Practices, are written methods outlining how to perform a task with minimal risk to people, equipment, materials, environment, and processes. SJPs, or Safe Job Procedures, are written specific steps that guide a worker through the completion of a task from start to finish in chronological order. Working alone policy. A person is considered to be working alone when they are working by themselves and cannot be seen or heard by another person. 
RAW Group's Work Alone policy helps ensure the safety of loan workers. First, an assessment of the site and tasks to be completed must be done by the supervisor and worker who will be performing them alone. Assess the conditions under which the employee will be working, determine potential hazards and ways to mitigate the risk, establish a means and schedule for communication, and determine how to provide assistance in an emergency situation. Personal protective equipment is the last line of defense against potential injury. The minimum mandatory PPE to be worn is high-vis reflective vest, if any mobile equipment are present on site, CSA-approved hard hat, CSA-approved safety glasses, CSA-approved work boots, please note internal metatarsal guards are required for valet and Glencore sites, gloves, type dependent on tasks, Hearing protection, note, double hearing protection or muffs must be attached to the hard hat at valet and Glencore sites. High-vis coveralls or shirt-pant combo required at valet and Glencore sites. Fall protection equipment required when working at heights. Hard hat, chin strap required at Glencore when working at heights. Emergency Response Planning Management must supply all required resources, materials, equipment, and training required. Supervisors must ensure an emergency response plan is posted, including a map of the workplace that shows evacuation routes, headcount location, as well as location of emergency equipment, first aid stations, fire extinguishers, and spill kits for their sites. Workers must understand the emergency response plan, participate in all emergency response training, tests, and planning. Incident and near miss reporting. An incident is defined as an unplanned, undesired event that hinders the completion of tasks and may cause injury, illness, or property damage, or some combination of all three in varying degrees from minor to catastrophic. A near miss is defined as an unplanned event that has a potential to cause but does not actually result in human injury, environmental or equipment damage, or an interruption to normal operation. Any of these occurrences must be reported by their workers to their supervisors immediately. Any of these occurrences will result in an investigation. Not to find fault, but instead to find out which systems or processes need improvement to prevent the occurrence from happening again. That concludes your RAW Group orientation. Thank you.